everybody, welcome to Brickball. My name is Jack and today we're going through every single Lego Robin minifigure ever made. There's 21 in total, which make him the second most repeated superhero minifig in Lego with Batman, of course, way at the top and third place being actually pretty far behind Robin. So there's a lot of these guys. We're gonna go through the order of this chronologically, what sets they came out in, how much they're worth, all of that stuff. And uh, let's start off with the very first guy right here. Alrighty, so the very first Robin came out back in 2006 and he was released in the Batcave Penguin and Mr. Freeze Break-In. The detailing on his body is a pretty classic look for Robin with the uh, bright red and green and with that yellow cape. And I suppose the main thing that really makes this guy a bit different from all the other Robins is the piece that's used for his hair. It's got that kind of flipped up style that looks a little bit suave. And believe it or not, this guy sells for quite a lot as the original Robin. He comes in at around 35 bucks. Selling for pretty much the same price, uh, this year also gave way to the original Nightwing. He came out in the Arkham Asylum set, 7785, the very first one. And the detailing that makes up his body is really nice. He's got blue arms and that really is his distinctive feature compared to the other Nightwings down the line. Well, that and his crazy rubbery hairpiece. He also came with a couple of trans blue lightsaber blades used as baton weapons. And the very last of the Robins that came out from the original Batman theme was this 2000 2008 Robin, who's almost the same as the original, but the uh, hairpiece is just a little bit different. His set was Robin's Scuba Jet Attack of the Penguin, and he sells for $17. So those original prints on the body are also just relatively rare, not just the hairpiece. Now when we jump up to 2012, the Robins released for the uh, DC Super Heroes theme start off with Tim Drake Robin. He's uh, sort of the red Robin. So the legs and torso piece are red with the black groin piece. There is less of the yellow on the chest, so you can still see his utility belt and his black cape has uh, points just like Batman. It's a Batman cape. He first appeared in the Batcave 6860 plus a couple other sets and he's pretty cheap coming in at $6. Also this year gave way to almost the same kind of minifigure. The body is pretty much the same or at least the torso piece. His legs are now black. His cape is shorter and he comes with a hood and this minifigure was released in the Arkham Asylum Breakout. So it's a pretty cool set. He's $10 and interestingly enough no new rock Robins appeared for 2013, but their number uh, increasingly gets larger from here on after. 2014 gave way to these three guys, and let's start off with the short one. Technically, he's known as Robin Green Hands, even though now there's more Robins with green hands, and I believe this is the Damian Wayne Robin. So his torso piece looks a little bit different than before, the printing for it anyways, as well as the printing for the faces. Obviously, his most distinctive feature, though, is the short legs, because Damian Wayne was just a bit smaller. He appeared in the Joker Steam Rail set and sells for about 350 and then this other Robin that came out for 2014 looks strikingly similar to uh, the originals from 2006 only his cape is shorter now and the printing detail has updated itself ever so slightly and he's got a more slicked to the side hairpiece following suit with the release of another Batman from the same year the only times he ever came out were in a juniors set as well as a comic-con exclusive release he is seven dollars he's really not that uncommon and our last Robin of 2014 14 isn't Robin, it's our next Nightwing. He appeared in Batman Man Bat Attack. What makes him unique, aside from the fact that his printing for his chest is totally unique, is especially that he's got red eyes instead of the classic white. I'll reference this later down the line, but really this minifigure uh, is pretty common. The set was not very expensive. He is $4 and I think you can still buy it on shelves now. Anyways, 2015 turns the corner. There's another three Robins and we're starting off with a pretty unique one. This is Scuba Robin. He came out in the Black Manta Deep Sea Strike set. His distinctive features are, of course, the custom print or the, the exclusive print for his chest as well as the print on his face. I think this is a pretty nice setup for a minifigure all around. But once again, a not so uncommon set that can still be bought. He is around 350. Now, the original Robins that came out in 2006 were Dick Grayson Robins. I think I failed to mention that. But anyways, we're back to Dick Grayson, but this is the new 52 version of him. He appeared in the Batboat Harbor Pursuit. He's $5, but you can see the distinctive detailing on him has pretty much changed all around. He's darker green with the darker green hands. The detailing for the torso is, well, it, it matches him from New 52. And he's also got some new expressions and a different kind of hairpiece to go along with it. His cape is soft cloth. And I'll 
altogether, I'd say this is a pretty good version of the new 52 Robin. Finishing off 2015, we're back to a more classic look for Robin, and I really like these dual molded arms. That's a great touch. The printing for his belt and chest is also unique just to this Robin, though it doesn't feel particularly different from uh, what we saw in the original. His legs are a solid green, and there's no different color for the groin piece. He's got a couple of expressions, spiky hair, and appeared in just the Joker Land set. He's 650 right now, but will probably become a bit more expensive once this set goes off the market. 2016 has six figs included, and when we jump right into it, the first one we get also has dual molded arms just like before, but the printing is totally updated and it is meant to uh, follow the 1960s classic TV series, and you might be able to guess the set he came out in that was the classic TV series Batcave set. The nice detailed printing on his legs is probably one of the more striking features for this minifig. It looks great and it definitely ties the entire look together because this set was really big it's definitely a collector's set and this guy is just exclusive to it he is $17 right now but I have a feeling he's gonna be pretty much the most sought after at least the most rare of the Robin figs uh, give it a year or two also from the same set is the Dick Grayson minifig he's just not as desirable as the original Robin I say the printing is still very nice I like the uh, sweater detailing and there's even that little bit that goes around the back which is nice he is $7 and those two figs are some of my personal favorites now this is kind of funny we do have another short Robin he is from the rescue from Rachel Ghoul set he's four dollars detailing makes him look like the Damian Wayne Robin if I'm not mistaken he's got a hood and a short spiky yellow cape which is new at the moment he's four dollars and oddly enough this is not another Damian Wayne Robin here but instead a short version of the Dick Grayson Robin because this is a mighty micros Robin he came in the Robin vs Bane set and the distinctive features of these guys are really the very very simple printing on the chest piece the wacky expression and the short legs he is essentially the cheapest of the minifigs in this collection coming in at three dollars or maybe a little under but 2016 finishes off with a couple of the nicer figs we've got first a nightwing this is an updated version of our most recent nightwing before now his chest is blue instead of red and also his eyes are white instead of red to match the highlight on the chest this minifig was just a polybag release and at the moment he sells for pretty much how much his polybag is worth which is uh, eleven dollars maybe that's that's a little bit more now but anyways this is a guy he's probably the furthest deviation from Robin but I couldn't not include him we have Red Hood a great rendition of this minifigure I know a lot of people were making this guy custom for a long time before he came out officially for Lego I like the symbol on his chest and the simplicity of the print on his face there's no printing on the legs and I think that is a, a good choice it didn't need to have any extra detailing he came out in the Killer Croc sewer smash set at the moment he's an extremely recent fig and I haven't found any any definitive price for him but considering the size of the set he came out in and chances are he's gonna be exclusive to it I'd say he's probably gonna round off just under $10 guess what 2017 has rolled on by and so far the official releases for 2017 number at four Robin minifigs but that is undoubtedly going to increase by the time the year is up and perhaps you can guess what these minifigs are from yes they are from the Lego Batman movie two Robins are almost exactly the same let me just show one of them in a bit of closer detailing of which the detailing is uh, a lot higher and it's a lot nicer now he's got the dual molded arms and dual molded legs with some printing on the uh, front of the legs to show some boots but I think anybody would agree his most distinctive features are the uh, hair slash goggle piece all one headpiece together he seems like a pretty goofy character right now the movie has not actually come out yet this is one of the uh, Robins he is from the Arkham Asylum set and he comes with the uh, exclusive expressions well maybe not exclusive expressions but they are are different from this Robin who came out in this set and you can see the expressions are just a bit different I have a feeling these guys probably repeated themselves maybe a couple other times in other sets but at the moment I don't have any definitive prices on these very very new minifigs now this is a Robin that is exclusive to the scuttler set but he's actually not Robin necessarily he's he's Dick Grayson so he's not in the costume in fact he looks like he's dressed up for a party and that is a great looking torso piece it matches up nicely with the bow and you'll also note that the headpiece is a bit different they're not tinted green goggles like Robin's goggles but instead tan I'm supposing that uh, that is supposed to match his flesh tone and because he's got a bit more exclusive pieces to them and the scuttler set is not small by any means this is a $13 minifig and this almost
almost never happens when I do a collection review, but actually my very favorite minifigure from the entire collection is the most recently released. We have the Dick Grayson minifig from the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigure series, and he only looks a little bit more detailed than the uh, Dick Grayson fig that we got from the classic TV series set. The sweater is a little bit nicer, or there's just a few more things on there. I think those are ducks. And he also has printing on the legs to show jeans, but he is known as the shark repellent Dick Grayson because his item in his hand that came in the exclusive set was the shark repellent bat spray. Kind of an inside joke if you saw any of the uh, classic TV series uh, original movie. Anyways, it's a great accessory and I can't wait to see how they implement this in the movie, but he's just a $4 fig like pretty much all of the collectible minifigs right now. And with that, we just knocked out the entire collection. At the moment, there are 21 minifigs in total, which make Robin, I think, the second most repeated superhero figure aside from Batman. And I think he's just so repeated because we just got so many Batman <laughs> minifigs and sets. I like that Lego has covered quite a wide variety of the different kinds of Robin sidekicks that we've had. And here it really does make sense to have a wide variety of this kind of character because there really were a lot of characters playing the Robin sidekick. Now, finishing off this collection review, I would say if there's any other minifig to add right now, it would be nice to get maybe what the original Nightwing looked like in the number one comic from 1995. He's not what classically people know as Nightwing, but I think the detailing could look good and it would definitely transfer well into Lego. I don't know if this guy's gonna be coming around. If they do, he might end up as like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive or something. But anyways, it'd be great if we got him in a regular set. Okay, so that's it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Have any ideas about another collection you might want to see us do in LEGO? Let us know in the comments section below. So, once again, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.